Hello, rap members. Today we are here to experience Faith Chapter 3, which, in my biased opinion, I may or may not have been looking forward to the most of all of these October streams. <laughs> I'll be honest, I was looking forward to it. You might have thought it would be Resident Evil, but no. That being said, I've enjoyed every stream. Every, everything on this list to the uh, right over here, f c mirrored, confusing me, has been awesome. Fun to play, fun to stream. But this one, I have been the most excited for because, man, I, I mean, we just streamed Faith last year on a whim, and holy shit, it, it's no secret that I may or may not have fallen in love with that game. Um, and, as you can see, I have some decor behind me now. It's no longer just the plain wall behind me. Uh, so when I'm streaming on PC, look at, look at, we got Resident Evil right here. We got some Majora's Mask. Code Geass, Breaking Bad, Guardians of the Galaxy. We got my Deku mask that I made in art class in high school. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyhow. Welcome. Uh, I am pretty fucking hyped for this. Welcome, Zyka. Hello, Maz. What's good in the hood? I don't know. What's in the hood? Finally some art. Yes, this is a much nicer backdrop, isn't it? <laughs> um... Honestly, um, I say we should just get right into it, and I got everything set up perfectly. Oops. Alright, I made a setup just for Faith. It's a square-shaped screen like an Atari game on a CRT television. So, I got a little setup here, a little more focus on the camera this time, and I think we're ready to go. I am, I I'm smiling, I'm actually smiling, I'm pretty excited. Um, let's put down this awesome song by Pilot Red Sun, and switch to the Faith music. I was not able to audio test, so you guys are going to have to let me know how it sounds. Welcome. Ass in butt 12. Welcome. It's <laughs> a good name. <laughs> sounds good so far? Let's see. Alright, here we are. Chapter 3. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I got myself a strawberry watermelon sparkling ice here. Oh, it's Gloria. <laughs> Welcome, Gloria. <laughs> Everything sounds looks good, guys. Oh, I'm excited. I'm fucking excited. This came out um, one year ago. I'm one year late, just like Resident Evil 4, but that's okay. Didn't go anywhere. New game. Show needles? What does that mean? The hell does show needles mean? I don't know what that means. Check? The hell does that mean? I guess I'll show it. <laughs> Got your snacks. Nice. Alright, here we go. I won't talk over the cutscenes, because these cutscenes are uh, kind of awesome. I'm sorry to get back in this fucking weird world here. September 21st, 1986. Oh, look, it's John and Garcia. I don't need to tell you that this assignment is top secret. Yes. Why is the voice so muffled? So what I saw during my previous visits. We could be in for a very long night. Is this your first exorcism? Yes, sir. Hmm. Are you afraid? I don't know, sir. That's father to you? I'll give you a word of advice. Follow my instructions with exactness. Don't trust what you may see or hear. So this is real this time, because for those who don't remember it, in Faith Chapter 2 it was all a dream. Faith Chapter 1 really happened, but 2 was like all a nightmare and John is going crazy. How do I uh, put up my crucifix? I don't remember. This almost looks like the house from Chapter 1. I don't know if it is though. <gasps> oh, this is a backstory! Oh, this is the house from Chapter 1! This is Amy's parents! It is. Why is it so muffled still? What the hell? Oh boy. This is exciting. Is that Amy? No, it's not Amy. She's in the back.
You can kind of hear the voices, but why are they so muffled? Who's building Amy's house in Minecraft? <laughs> That's father to you? Me? Yes, Zaddy! <laughs> oh, I remember this basement. This game is filled with lots of secrets. Um, I am curious. Um, oh boy. Oh shit. Oh, what, 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 Nani, what, 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 what? Oh, it's just Garcia, you scared me, Jesus. <laughs> I was, I thought something was chasing me. <laughs> I do remember this basement, though. Okay, there's Amy. So this is where the exorcism took place, apparently? I'm not going to talk over it. I'm going to let it play out. <clears throat> oh, it's he, John's dreaming again. October 28th, 1987. Who's up to play it? Sorry, three days until the profe- Oh, shit, I missed it. Profane Sabbath, I think it said? John, we don't have much time. The profane Sabbath is almost upon us. If they find Nate and Jason, they will perform a ritual on them to call forth a demon from unspeakable power. The name of the demon is Malthus. I am in the process of discovering their whereabouts. I will contact you again soon. We must not let them do to the boys what they did to Amy. So I think they're talking about that cult that we saw in, in our dreams in chapter two. The 28th is just two days away, you guys. We gotta save them? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, I do remember John's house from chapter two. Sorry, voice kind of startled me for some reason. John, I can't find Nate or Jason Martin in the state foster care system. It's the possible that after what happened last year, they went to live with their relatives. I will try to find out what I can. Meanwhile, go investigate the clinic where Amy worked. We must find the place where they intend to summon Malthus and disrupt their planes. Via and Dios. So... From what I remember, there was two twins that you can catch as an easter egg in chapter 1, and in chapter 2, we followed them into a corn maze and they ran off, and we couldn't chase after them. And I think that th those are Amy's relatives, so... Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth from lies, you could try remembering what you know to be true. Press escape or the start button to review your notes. If you're in a hurry, hold spacebar or the action button to skip cutscenes. Alright. Okay, notes. I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I will always love you back. Molly. Have you forgotten already? Things are never quite as they seem. If you can't discern truth... Oh, no, no. Okay, okay. That's... Okay. This note is missing. I see. I see. Can you turn the game volume a bit up? It's semi-quiet. Oh, okay. No problem. No problem. Let's see. Um... Oh, I'm going to have to do my in-game settings. It's already maxed. Let's see here. Master volume. Let's go 5%. Let me know if this is good. I can go up higher or lower. Um, it actually sounds really loud to me, but it, 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 isn't, it doesn't sound any different. Uh, it sounds different for you guys, so I don't know. John's basement. Oh, John, you got water problems in your basement too? Oh, me too, man. Been working so fucking hard on trying to fix my basement's water issues. God damn, guys. It's good now? Okay. Guys, I'm excited. I heard this is considered the best chapter. Faith Chapter 1 and 2 are critically acclaimed and extremely well received. A shit ton of memes. Fanbase loves it. Vinny loved it. Markiplier loved it. Gura loved it. I'm excited. I've been avoiding spoilers hardcore. Leave? No. 
This game has a shit ton of secrets, and I might do a second stream to find all the secrets, just like we did on the other chapters, but I just want to see if I can find any here. Neighbor? The hell? Kid watching... <laughs> Some Halloween movie? The way this game does cutscenes is weirdly eerie. I don't know why. He's like us for real, for real. <laughs> peak pixel animation. Honestly, no, no cap. This is peak pixel animation. And it evokes such feeling. You can tell what you're looking at, but like, I, I love the sense of mystery that these old games uh, give us. Can we see John's backyard? I might take my time with this playthrough a little bit because this game is only three hours long and I'm going to be so fucking sad when it's over because I'm pretty sure this is the final chapter, so let's enjoy it. Ask the neighbor if you can borrow some sugar. Let's just stalk them. Let's look through their windows. What are they watching on the TV? I guess they're all just watching spooky movies. I mean, hey, uh, it's the time to watch spooky movies. Are your parents home? Can I see them? Fishing channel. <laughs> I'm watching the fishing channels. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I, I think we saw what we need to see. Let's move on here. Whew. Faith Chapter 2 is actually pretty scary. I'm, I'm kind of curious what this one's going to be like. I don't think there's going to be any quick time events. What the shit? What does it say? What does it say on the wall? Leroy 2? Yeah, was that a cultist in the car there? Did you did you see the way that they uh Did that say Amy? Oh. I'm looking for secrets still. What the shit? Oh wait, hold on, let's talk to this cop. Let's talk to this cop first. <clears throat> You don't know that. Hiya! Get crucified! Oh, okay. No. May the power of Christ compel you to shut the fuck up! I know what I'm doing. Let's look down here. Can you get ran over if you stay in the street? Probably. What is that, a fish? A fucking fish? What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. It's a bird. Guys, why did I? Oh, I guess it is a bird. You're right. Okay, well, let's not. Clearly, I need to use my frogger skills here and knock it right over. <laughs> that Airdorf semi truck that ran me over? I think that's the same one that ran over the Chupacabra in the first game. Wait, bird? I don't see bird. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I see, I see. I see. It is a bird. Wait, was I supposed to crucify the bird? I'm afraid to cross the street now. This man needs new glasses if he sees a fish and not a bird. What do you. Look at. Like. The, to the, uh, the, the bottom right is a fin, top is also a fin, and then all the way to the left is a fish head. It looks like a, it looks like a fish. What? What the fuck? What? What, what the? He wasn't there last time. Where did he go? What the fuck was that? Hey, raw every nun. How are you? Fine, thank you. I thought it was a narwhal. <laughs> but I do need new glasses. You are correct on that part, though. In the balls? In the balls? The fuck do you mean in the balls? Also, this is like a dog with a hat now. <laughs> he said I had no choice to. Oh, we're looping here? Wait, why are we looping? Okay, so this is, uh, we're not supposed to go this way. 
What are those faces in the wall? Ragnar. It's interesting, because each game has a pretty different setting. Second one was like creepy ass... There was... My volume's too loud, I'm getting startled very easily. But, um... Second game was the creepy ass church, super gothic feeling. First game was just in the woods, the cabin. Now here we are in town. Beetle Fest, 1987. Calling all metal fans. Be Be Bezel Fest, 1987 rocks the hell out of Hartford. Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Featuring appearances by when all is said and done, trust no corpse, the horror is dead, basement two, return to bondage, among the bloodied, living still in silence, mother of shadow, and the door to afterbirth. Advanced sale tickets, $3. That, that is the most fucking, <laughs> that, that, that is the most fucking uh, metal names I've ever heard, guys. <laughs> I love the genre of images where you feel watched. I love the genre of images where like, it's like, this could be album covers. Well, oh, this is creepy already. Facts to Rhonda Erickson from Gary. Oh, Gary is the cult leader from what I remember. Hi, Rhonda. Just a couple of reminders after. Wait, 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 guys, do me a favor. Somebody type that number in the chat. 0817850002. Knowing this game, that's probably going to be like an Easter egg later on. 0817850002. Just a couple of reminders after last week's visit. Please keep your desk tidy. Our patients need to feel at ease with their healthcare experience. Remember our soul points. Clean, quick, courteous. Do not return any calls from the Department of Health before notifying me first or leaving a message with Tiffany. We cannot afford another surprise inspection. Please do not call me on my direct personal line if you happen to hear back from Miss Martin. One more thing. Keep Jeffrey out of sight. Remember, Gary loves you. End facts. All right. I've been seeing people make memes of Gary loves you, but I don't know what, what that is still. I gotta find out. I, I gotta show you guys some faith memes I have saved when we're done with this game. Why is the lighting so weird in this place? So it's like, guys, I don't know why this is kind of creepy. I, I probably shouldn't be creeped out, but what is that? What the hell is that? Is that like a like a fucking fetus in a plastic bag? Guys, I don't know what that is. I honestly don't know what that is. Do you love Gary? Gary loves you. Your friend the zombies. Fetus? It is a fetus? Looks like another fetus. The hell is that one? That one doesn't look like a fetus. What the fuck is that? I don't I couldn't tell you what that one is. <laughs> okay. I might have to turn my volume down. I'm getting pop scared by the by the voices. <laughs> I'm surprised I haven't run into any Easter eggs yet, or I might just be missing them. This game hid them pretty well first time. Why is that chair glowing? Nothing? Why is it facing the wall? The hell? Crowbar? Yes, I see that, John. Fetus and the ultrasound. Why a fetus? Uh, Half-Life Easter egg. <laughs> I don't suppose I can use the crowbar. No, we're, we're a priest. He's not going to use the crowbar. Something's going to happen, guys. Something's definitely going to happen. Is this a hospital? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ! That scared me. <laughs> what? What?
What? Hide where? What do you mean you need to hide? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh shit, oh shit! <laughs> You're Hector. When they say I need to hide, do they mean like... I'm pretty sure it's the best hiding spot I got. I don't suppose I can use my crucifix on like this. Look at all the other fucking bodies in the beds. They're all like covered in the tarp and blood. Uh-oh. Is this a good hiding spot? Don't come this way. Get me the bug out of here, boy! Get me the hell out of here! Jesus Christ, what is happening? <laughs> uh... No thanks. Uh, how about you need to get the fuck out of here? Oh, no, wait, is that a stairs? Am I a dumbass? Is that stairs? Uh-oh. We're fucked. <laughs> hey, guys, we're fucked. Uh, whoopsie! Whoopsie! <laughs> okay. Okay, well, that just happened. This is my actually nightmare. Don't worry, we're hiding, John. We're hiding. Don't, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about a thing. Because every little thing is going to be all right. Well, let's wait for this bastard. The hell is it? I mean, there was some weird stuff in Faith, but what the fuck is that thing? What is that? No, move! Alright, move. Uh oh. Your local babysitter being strapped to a gurney is f in a fucked up hospital. My actual nightmare. Yes, John. You do need to hide. I agree with you in this case. This looks like a pretty good hiding spot. What the hell is this thingy? I don't know where to go after this. Where, where do I go? I can't get off this fucking bed. What do I do? Oh. Okay. I got your back, cop. You got the gun? I got the real power! The power of Christ will compel your asshole! My asshole? That's right! When you have a devilish shit. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh shit, it's somewhere in here. Oh god. It's in our hiding spot, isn't it? Where the fuck is it? Uh, it's. I think it's in our hiding spot. What the hell? Okay. My hog. Guys, I don't know where it's at. 
I need to, I need to keep a, a mind to look out for bloody footsteps. I remember the demons tend to just like leave bloody footsteps, but you can't actually see them sometimes. Okay. I don't know where that thing is. Am I supposed to go in the hiding spot? The fuck is it? Should, should we just leave? Okay, I think we should just leave. I don't think we're supposed to go back up here. Okay, goodbye. I just saw it in the window. Did you guys see it? I definitely saw it a second ago. I don't know what the hell that is in the wall still. No. I, I don't know why I'm going this way. I probably shouldn't be. I'm just, I guess I'm just being, I'm just checking. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. I don't think this, uh, this chapter doesn't seem to be hiding as many secrets as the previous two. All right, well, let's get the hell out of here. Let's get the hell out of here, boy. Okay. Uh, for what now? Oh, I see. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cop, back the fuck up, cop. Get back the fuck up. Oh my god. It's, it's kind of hard to... Oh damn, it escaped. Alright, let's get the hell out of this place before that uh, thing comes back. Oh, never mind. Okay. Yes, we got it. Top ain't letting that slide. Yeah, for real. Hippies? I don't know about hippies. I wouldn't call a bunch of cultists lighting a cop car on fire hippies necessarily, but... Damn hippies. Oh, what the fuck? The cop's dead. What the fuck? No comment, John? No comment? All right. What the hell happened? I, I think this is dead end. I don't think I'm supposed to go this way. Maybe we needed to go in there to get the crowbar. There, there might be something we need the crowbar out here. Must have been the wind. <laughs> yeah. It was the wind, it, it killed him. Oh, those harsh breezes, man. What can I say? All right. Kawabunga? Kawabana? This looks like the other edge of town. It is. Okay. Where else am I supposed to go? Why would I go back this way? Am I supposed to... Wait, I'm not supposed to go back in here, am I? Why would I go back in here? No, no, no. Where the hell did that cop- did, So the cop died. What's going on now? John, are you just not gonna comment? Like, you're not gonna like, bless him? Bless his soul? Where's everyone at? Bingo? Yeah, man. <laughs> Okay, uh... Where the hell do I go now? I guess I'm, there's not really anywhere else to go. I, I, I think I might have to go back inside. Or get in my car? Leave? Oh, okay, I, I, I guess we're leaving. 
Let's get the fog out of here. Yahoo! Amen. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. She watched too much skibbity? Fucking compel her, god damn it! Get the brain rot out of her! Get the brain rot out of her! Alright, uh, we're doing this to Tan Man next, because he has too much brain rot. This is what's gonna happen to him. Sorry, I didn't mean to get away your exorcism, Garcia. Hey, oh, the parents interrupted the exorcism. That's why, that's why I got botched. I remember that. It's part of the chapter one lore. The hell out of here, parents. You must leave. She has seen too much skibbity for your liking. Father Garcia may have to take the exorcism in a new direction. What are you saying? They're going to put her down? No, we're going to educate her. We're going to make her watch some educational video essays. And we're going to uh, unbrain rot her. Okay. Stay there, parents. Don't we'll back down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait. Why do I gotta be feeling about this now? It just throws the Bible in random places to read it. <laughs> he's to watch Freddy twerking and she'll be fine. Oh no, not the Freddy twerking. He's the, he's demonic. Take it. Save her. Oh shit. Oh, that wasn't Garcia. That was Fowler Alred. She needs to watch Freddy twerking and she'll be fine. Now I'm religious? Cross upgrade, that's right. I think that's how he got his cross in the first place. All right. I'm not going in there. What, I still don't know what's in there. What the fuck is in there, John? John. For now, this is the only way I can contact you. I think they're watching me. I need you to come over as soon as you can. The situation has gotten much worse. My address is 665 Orange Street, apartment 5A, New Haven, CT0511. Thank you, Lisa. P.S. For some reason, I don't... If I don't answer the door, get the spare key from my friend Tiffany. Okay. John. There's an apartment building in New Haven where they may be attempting to summon Malthus. I'm not able to go there myself. It's up to you to stop their rituals. Via Con Dios, Father Garcia. John, I don't know if you're getting my letters or not, but I hope you'll be here soon. I really need your help. They're in the apartment. I see them all the time now. I can hear them in the darkness. I haven't slept in days. When you get here, just come straight to my place. Tiffany can't be trusted. Don't talk to my neighbors either. They won't let me leave. Lisa. Okay. I'm about to get religious. Oh, I see what you're referencing. I'm about to get religious. Now I'm religious. Now I'm really religious. It's okay, guys. I'm no longer religious. Now I'm super religious. I've done it. I've reached ultra religion. All right. You know, like the ultra racist Goku? If you haven't... If anybody hasn't seen Ultra Race because Goku, you gotta look it up. Is it worth checking? The I, I haven't noticed many secrets in this playthrough. Let's just see if it's different. 
I'm gonna, if it's not different, we'll move on. He's watching. Hey, look, it's Young Maz. He's watching some. Uh, it looks like some uh, some WWE wrestling. His lolly dungeon. Different channel. That's right. He's, he's uh, just watching the Maz watching the uh, WWE wrestlers. <laughs> That's what the family's watching. Oh, they're watching the same thing. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Imagine the family just turns and Father John is just staring through the fucking window. <laughs> At least no skibbity. Yeah, that's why he's really watching. He's just making sure they're not watching skibbity. Otherwise, he's going to have to hold the cross to their window. All right. Hey, what happens if I go down the street? Hopefully not getting ran over, but uh, oh, nothing. All right, so, so the, overall this chapter seems much more focused. I'll, I'll try to not be as overdramatic then. Among the damned. Oh, okay. What is this? Oh, this, this is room numbers, okay. Oh, this is, this is the mailing. Hello, Mr. Ward. I am sorry to have worried you. I am perfectly fine. I have not been feeling like myself lately. However, I am much better now. Please do not trouble yourself with coming to visit. I have decided to take an extended vacation in the country. So you will not find me at home. Sincerely, Lisa Pearson. Oh. Okay. Let's see. Lisa. Pronounce the only way I can contact you. Wait, okay. I think I think it's just... Uh, we just read them. I think we just got to talk to Tiffany, probably. So let's just find out where Tiffany's at. No, I don't, I don't see... Uh, oh. Steal mail. Get that cash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Steal the mail going to the churches. They get all the cash. Oh, John couldn't do it, though. Uh, he, he, he couldn't do it. Oh, what the shit? No, no, no. How about we go back? Uh, what? I guess we won't go down there. <laughs> I guess we won't go downstairs yet. Probably need a flashlight. So, okay. Uh, we gotta check our notes. <laughs> that's a John. That's the last thing John heard before he died. So, she said her apartment is 5A. Let's check what's this way. is 1B. The hell is that? Something's broken. I don't know what it is. Alright. Y'all gonna bring back the Freddy Twerk in this early, guys? Alright, so I guess we're going up the stairs. This whole place looks abandoned, bro. Holy shit, how many floors are there on this place? You know what, guys? Oh, I can't back out, I think. All right, well, I guess we'll just uh, go up to floor three. I was gonna I was gonna walk through. I kind of don't want to miss anything. What the hell is this ambience? And why is every mirror broken? What the... Everything with glass, like clocks and, and windows and shit, is all broken. There, there has to be some kind of significance. 
Maybe it's that mirror demon from, from like, the Easter egg in part one. Is it, oh, this apartment's open. What the shit? Blood? What is that? What the shit is that? What the hell? I can't... I It's letting me crucify, but it's, it's not doing anything. What the shit is that? Diamond sword? <laughs> Every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death, one must sacrifice seven by passing them through the carved... Oh, there, there's some parts that are blotted out. By passing through the star carved out of the impure vessel's face, then shall the unspeakable reward the star with the second death such was the fate of that whore amy my beloved gary has set his sights too far too low i will surpass her well i'm sorry what does this say every initiated follower knows that in order to bring about the second death one must sacrifice seven stars by passing them through the stars carved out of impure vessel's face then Shall the unspeakable reward the star with the second death? So, okay, okay. I think I, I think I see what it's saying. Because Amy had that carved out face. And maybe, like, after she died, she's... I don't know what the fuck second death is. She's like a zombie or some shit now. I don't know what the fuck that means. This is, uh, this is one of those games that is, does not hold your hand with its story at all. All right, let's go back up in the elevator. Um, back to floor three. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, it's just going to start dancing. What a shame. All right, 3B. May the power of Christ turn your TV off. You guys know the feeling of like being young and um, <laughs> wanting to use the TV at night, but then you're like afraid when you turn it on, it's gonna go to, hey, do you guys have the CRT television when you turn it on, it fucking starts with the loud ass static. I'd always be so afraid, like I wanna put on the DVD before bed, but I, I turn my TV on, it's gonna fucking blast everyone's ears out. Oh, what the hell? What the, what the fuck? What the fuck? There's second life and there's second death, bruh. What the hell is that? Is that ambience or is that part of the game? Is that like something happening? Oh, this door's closed. I'm gonna pass the elevator. The hell? Alright, we're on the floor five. This is where uh, the lady's supposed to be at. By the way, this should be Tiffany. Okay, hey Tiffany, your room is pretty cool. <laughs> what is all this shit? The fuck is a satanic ass ritual on her door? Uh oh. What is that? the hell is that excuse me did I just like did I just like release something in here if you wish to break the seal of a loo your answer lies in the blood-stained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark but only those who have ascended to the highest point can descend to the lowest depths. What the hell? The bloodstained knife? That's not it. So... Oh, 
Okay, Johnny, I'm gonna scream. Okay. Um. So you need some kind of bloodstained knife? Well, there's that knife we saw downstairs. If you like playing games, the first floor is a great place to start over. However, to play the game, you must know the rules. Beware. If you have a, sus a susceptible soul, you might get pulled in. What? What the hell does that mean? My sister go to the first floor in the elevator? So this is where I think um, the, our, the, the lady lived. Or maybe that's where Tiffany was. I don't remember. Candles. Oh boy. In the basement, the lowest depth. Well, maybe you're right. Yeah, actually, you know what? Let's go to the basement. This, this place has 10 floors, guys. Oh, wait. So I can't go to the... Okay. <laughs> I forgot. I think we need to find a flashlight before we go to the basement. Well, I guess we're going to keep looking. Oh, no. Elevator friend? Oh, he's so friendly. Look at his smile, guys. It's just... His name's Timmy. Timmy the elevator friend. <laughs> hey, Timmy. New Minecraft mob? Oh, yeah. I think this might just be the stairs over here. Yeah, it's just the stairs. Okay. What What, what is the on the wall supposed to mean? Is this place fucking decaying? The ambience is just getting more and more bizarre the higher we get up this building. Mm. There is no seventh floor. What? The fuck do you mean there's no seventh floor? Well, they got it sealed off? So I, I, I'm guessing I have to take the elevator to the seventh floor then? Okay then. <laughs> That's interesting. Can we go from the top? May the power of Christ compel this plant! Our sister Tiffany has gone against the will of the unspeakable. I thought I could trust her, but I was wrong. Proceed with the original plan. The woman in 5A will be our vessel. Let her pious friend come to rescue her. The unspeakable shall crush them both. So maybe, is Tiffany, if Tiffany's alive, she might be on our side then. She she might be going against the cultists. Maybe that's why um, Lisa, who is writing us, said not to trust her because Lisa joined the cult and Tiffany is not all down with it. And maybe, maybe Lisa was sending us letters to lure us into the cult in the first place. Though she did write a letter not to come at the end, so I'm not sure. Maybe reverse psychology? Mm hmm. Alright, one more floor. Pumpkin? Williams Family Newsletter, October 1987. If you're reading this, it means you've been invited to the Williams Family Annual Halloween Block Party. It will be held on Halloween starting at 5 p.m. in apartment 9B. Activities will start promptly, so please do not be late. If you plan on bringing a plus one, please let me know in advance. Only friends and family... Can... What does that say? Oh, only friends and family, a.k.a. those who receive this newsletter, are invited. 
Also, just a reminder that this is a family-friendly event, so please leave all overly scary costumes and marks at home, masks at home. Timmy is still traumatized after last year's incident. Also, I respectfully ask that you keep alcohol and cigarettes out of the apartment. Also, we do not want a repeat of last year with the power going out, so please bring treats, but no tricks. If just another friendly reminder, <laughs> it's a lot of friendly reminders <laughs> that anti-religious or satanic imagery will not be allowed in this apartment also please be aware of timmy's diet and food allergies and please be aware that he suffers from asthma so please do not sneak up on him or try to scare him again he still has trouble after what happened last year oh my god it's still going you will also notice he has a new imaginary friend. When you see him, please just go roll with it. Timmy's therapist says it's healthy for him to have such a coping mechanism. See you all at the party. Can't wait for you all to meet Mr. Miller, who has taken Timmy, who has taken Timmy, taken to Timmy so well and become like a part of the family, Debbie. Okay. I, I'm getting weird vibes from that. So I'm guessing that Mr. Miller is the therapist and is stepping into the family. He might be a cultist. Perhaps Timmy's imaginary friend is a demon or some shit. That's what I'm getting from that. Also, Timmy is the f elevator friend, so I'm not sure what correlation that has to everything. Sacrifice what you cling to? Basement dumbwaiter. How to use. Pull up on a handle to open the hatch. Place item or being to be sacrificed inside the container. Pull down on handle to close hatch. Press button to send dumbwaiter to basement. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice does not jostle around inside the container. Do not open a hatch once a dumbwaiter has reached the basement. I do not have enough earplugs and I am tired of people losing them. Please wait for the green light to come on before using. Okay. What is this security camera? What the hell? That, that looks like it could be any one of the staircases. You think it's floor seven? Of, I like how instead of Sony, it says Oni. It's funny. Give up the cross. Give up the cross? What the fuck? I don't want to give up the cross. I guess we have to. Okay. If it's blinking red, it means it was done so successfully. Hold on. Right. Light will blink red if done successfully. Please make sure your sacrifice. Is okay. 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 All right, so I guess that goes down to the basement. I think we have to go down in the basement now too. Guys, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? What, what was that? Excuse me? Also, we're on floor nine. I don't think we're on floor 10, are we? Or no, are we on floor 10? What did I just do, guys? What was that? What was that? Excuse me? Gary lied to us when you see it run? I don't think I can run. John only walks.
one called your elevator? Um, I don't want to walk down all the floors. Can we just... Oh, we can't use the elevator anymore. Okay, well. Alright then. The fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, I don't know how much I like this. Sister location? Yeah! That's so funny you said that. I was just thinking that. It's like the Foxy room in sister location. I have kind of a bad feeling about this. Oh. Oh. Oh shit, guys, I just saw blood all around me. What the hell? Guys, there's like satanic symbols around me right now. What is in this? We're gonna die when we go in here, aren't we? What was that? What was that? Oh shit, it's following me. Oh my god, it's following me. What the fuck? I want to see what's on the wall. Wait, I, I didn't get the catch what that was. Priest cop? What does that say? Priest cop. Okay. <gasps> Whoa, that was Amy's room in the attic. This is... What? That's, this is like the attic where we crucified Amy in the first chapter. Oh, what the fuck? What was that? What What was that? What is that? So maybe let's not flash while we go by here. <laughs> okay, let's, let's not flash over there. <laughs> All right. Oh shit. So, oh god, something's following me. Oh no, something's following me. Okay. Wait, I, I didn't see the room. What is on the floor over here? Is that skulls? Is it, I think there's a dead guy in the corner. The fuck? I can't get over there. Wait, is there a hole in the floor? Oh shit, there's a big ass hole in the floor, like a star. Okay then. We're almost there, I think. Let's check what floor we're on, to be honest with you. 2A? Okay, we're on floor 2. We're almost there. Oh, blood. Why is there blood? What's up with the dagger? I still don't get what's up with that. Wait. Basement area? I found a secret hatch in the basement. Whoa, what was that? Whoa! Wait, wait, I can't back away. Oh shit! Okay. Okay, let's move. I'm not your fucking mother! Okay. Oh. Can't see anything. Alright. I'm trying not to say any of those satanic symbols. I, I have a bad feeling something might happen if I do. 
Ooh. John, why why is there blood coming from you? Why is there blood coming from you, John? What happens if we go back in the elevator on floor one? Okay. <gasps> what was that? What was that? I think we have to go to the basement like this. I don't, I don't think we're going to get a flash. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Wait, what did I just see? Uh, I, I see the... Okay, oh, is my cross here? I, I, that's the dumb waiter, but my cross isn't there apparently. Okay. Get that name cross, boy. Good shit. The hell? Well, thankfully nothing bad happened to us. <laughs> I have a feeling that if we flash the camera in front of those three red guys before we probably would have died. I come on, we got through with no deaths. I I I think that all things considered, I think I What Excuse me? What was that? What the fuck was that? Purple guy, bruh. We're... No, we already did. I don't know what the hell that was. Can we go to floor seven? No. Can we go to floor ten. Is he possessed now? Man, I don't know. What the fuck? I don't know if we're supposed to go. Can you go to floor seven from floor eight? Maybe. I'm, I'm not sure if there's any reason to revisit floor 10. <gasps> what the fuck? What is that? It's red. Okay, so. I was just curious. Alright. Did we ever check what's on the other side of this floor? I don't recall what's over here on floor 10. Nothing. Something lurking? I don't know what floor that camera's even looking at, but if I were to make any guesses, I would assume it's looking at the hidden passage to floor 7. Alright, let's take the elevator to floor 8. Let's see what we got here.
So I imagine it would be on this side. Okay, we're already in here. Wait, this just goes up to nine? No, we don't want that. On the other side, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think the other side, it, it should circle down to seven. Well, we missed the note, so that's something. Those who keep knocking on forbidden doors will be visited by the one who guards them. Alright. There is a seventh floor. How the fuck do I get to the seventh floor? Do we got we just leave? I don't know what else to do. We've been to each building, I mean, each uh, part of the thing now. Let's just go back to floor six. I don't know why something would change, but let's just go back and see. Maybe you can crucify it now? Oh, like the symbol on the wall, you mean? The dagger on floor two. Oh, maybe. Oh yeah, because there is still that seal on Tiffany's room. I forgot about that. Oh, that must be how you get into the seventh floor. The seal in, uh, in Tiffany's room. Or I don't know if it's Lisa's room or Tiffany's room, but whatever. Can I say, surprisingly big map for um for a game like this. <clears throat> All right, so it is bloodied now. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. That looks like part of the seal. Huh. So is there more to the seal then? There's a hatch. Oh, we went down here when we had the camera. This is where that guy chased us. What the hell? That's new. Brothers and sisters, this month will be host to a special visitor. It is here to help prepare the way for the coming of the unspeakable. Of course, due to its due to its special nature, it has full access to the entire building, including your apartments, bedrooms, etc. If you are lucky enough to see it, you would do well to not approach or speak to it. Find a dark or dimly lit area and try to stay out of its way. One of you will be blessed to find it has made its home in your dwelling. <laughs> that sounds awesome. So blessed. Do not go down into the hole it will make, no matter whose voice you hear down there. If you believe no one is... If you believe one of your fellow brothers or sisters is inside, please notify me and I will retrieve the remains in a timely manner. Also, just a reminder... That rent and utilities are due by Friday. Rent, bruh. Oh my god. Bro's like, if you see the unspeakable being, don't talk to it. Hide in a corner. Also, don't forget to pay your rent. Just, just thought I'd mention that. Friendly reminder about Timmy. Um, please don't talk about Skibbity Toilet. He, uh, he, he gets really upset when you talk about the skibbities, and uh, he, he, gets a little, he gets a little quirky at night. Let's go back to 4-5. Someone's got to make money? That's right. 
the fuck is the unspeakable? Where, where did we see the hole in the floor? I can't remember... I can't remember what room that was. We did see a star-shaped hole in one of the floors. It was when we were going through with the camera. And the fact that there's a cross on the floor in front of this room means that I, I'm pretty sure something happened. Hmm. I think that was on floor 9. So maybe we have to go there now? I don't know. So something about a knife... Okay, hold on. Let's check our notes. Something about a knife is part of the reason why it's being blocked. Do you wish to break the seal of a loo? Your answer lies in the bloodstained knife and the face hiding in the deep dark. The face hiding in the deep dark? Is it... Was it in the basement? Do we gotta go back to the basement? What the hell is this about? There was not all these candles in here before. All right, so I think we got to go back to floor one. Should, should we go check out the hole in the floor? I'm probably just going to die, but I'm kind of just curious if anything happens. Let's see if we can find the unspeakable. Maybe that goes into the depths. Maybe. Now, if I were John, and I saw a hole in the floor on floor 9, I don't know if I would go in it. And what the fuck is the unspeakable? That's what I want to know. No, I don't think it was floor 9. I'm not sure what floor that was. I do remember it being a high floor, though. Maybe it was this one? No. Yeah. Damn it. I don't remember where that was at. Alright, let's check the basement first. I'm not sure if the hole serves any purpose or not. And I also just don't know where it's at. Gotta check them all. Well, we checked floor 9 and 8, so maybe 7. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about seven. Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't know where it's at. Uh, let's just go check the basement. <laughs> How are these guys stop it from going to seven, man? Here's what we don't know. One time we're going to get in the elevator, and then Otacon's going to call <laughs> Priest John and be like, Hey! There was four stealth suits, but now I can't find any of them. Wait, Priest John, I just thought maybe the reason why the weight is so heavy on the elevator. John, walk out. You're not alone in that elevator. They're right behind you. Huh? Is that an obscure reference? Okay. Basement doesn't seem like it has much of anything. What about this uh, water-filled washer here? No? And what is this on the bottom here? Just like a pipe? Yeah, it's a pipe. Alright. Well, actually, do, does this... Probably not. Does this go any farther this way? Oh, it does. Oh, how the fuck did I miss this, guys? I guess I missed this. <laughs> okay. Well, that's the hidden face in the dark, I'm assuming. All right, there we go. Well, I guess I'm glad we went to the basement. My beloved Gary. Alas, the mask is already stained with blood. Oh, Dio would be happy, huh? My blood. The ritual is complete. You will not find me on this mortal plane, for I am beyond... 
Look for me in the unseen world if you are dare, Tiffany. Okay, well, Tiffany is definitely not our friend. So that theory is out the window. 70 times 7. She has Dio's mask, guys. 70 times 7? Isn't that 666? Not 7. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, wait. Hello. Hel okay. And we're dead. <laughs> Jojo part one. Yeah, man. Jojo part one. Soda. Okay, I think we gotta fight him in here where there's the candles. Oh shit! To her? Guys, I can't believe we missed that. <laughs> All right, now let's get out of here. Soda. I'm I, I'm pretty sure we're about to make it to floor seven. I don't, I can't imagine what else that seal would be hiding. I love how detailed all these scenes are, despite being like such a low detailed version of a game. Like like I forgot what Atari is. I can't remember if it's two bit or four bit. All right, uh, floor five. One bit? Wait, Atari's one bit? Really? Is that true? No? Okay. <laughs> Wrist game bit? Hold on, wait, I'm just curious. I can't remember. Let's see. How many bits is Atari 2600? 8 bit? What the fuck? It's 8 bit? The NES was an 8 bit and the NES looked a million times better. That's surprising. Then again, bits don't mean shits. If you don't know how to use the bits. Because after all, uh, there was the Atari Jaguar, which was 64 bit, and that looked like ass compared to the N64. All right, here we are. Okay. What is going on here? Okay. Good to know. Thanks for the warning. Oh shit. What the fuck? No, don't possess Lisa again. Oh shit. Okay, okay, okay. Back up, baby. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh. Who are you then? Is this the unspeakable? Fight it, John? Fight it, John? Excuse me? It tried possessing me? Damn it! Oh, 
Oh no! What? Oh no, Lisa. I am so sorry. You never made me do it. Wait. What? Wait. Was that scripted? No, no, that can't be scripted. Is this the bad ending? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I don't think I can retry, guys. I don't think I can retry. Well, that just happened. There's no retries in real life. Oh, yeah, this is real life, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, spot on, really. Uh, <laughs> well, sorry, Lisa. Uh, I did not... I don't know what to say. I guess we just walk home in silence. The ray tracing light effects is amazing. <laughs> Sorry, Lisa. I guess we just... No? Seventh floor. Let's try going from the sixth floor. Well, shit. I always forget Faith has multiple endings. Uh, we're definitely not going to get an ending yet. We killed Lisa. Oh, in Faith Chapter 3, from my understanding is the longest of the three chapters. Like, chapter two is about close to two hours long. Chapter one is about one hour long. On a first time, anyway. And this one's about three hours long. Some of the floor is the Dorsey as a faith. You can't get into it, bro. <laughs> I don't know how many people are going to have that's funny. <laughs> uh... Hi, this is Father John. I'm trying to book a reservation on the seventh floor of this apartment building. I can't seem to get in. I have the latest fashion in Christ Weekly. And I, I think you guys would really like to have me in on the seventh floor. Also, it's an American Psycho reference for you guys know. <laughs> it's American Psycho, that's right. Patrick Bateman, more like uh, John Wardman. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how to get to the seventh floor. Let's go back to the eighth. I mean, what the fuck? We just go home because we couldn't save Lisa now? I feel like bad now, but I... I that was hard. And this game, if you can't tell, doesn't really hold your hand. I wasn't really sure what to do at first. Oh, we need a bomb. Where's Morshu at? We need a bomb. Lamp oil, rope, bombs. That's all we needed this whole time. Lamp oil for the basement. We need bombs. I'm not sure what we need the rope for. How about the tie Lisa down so we don't accidentally kill her? How about that? Did we just leave? I mean, seriously, I don't know what else to do. I think we just leave. I mean, this isn't the end of the chapter by a long shot, but I just... Alright, let's get out of here. Sorry, Lisa. Uh, I guess we're going home. <laughs> And that make for a good wallpaper, just John driving. Huh? Are you still possessed by the demon, though? You didn't kill it? We probably are still possessed. Okay, well, we're back into the backstory with Amy now. 
I see her. I see her. <laughs> so I guess we're fucking possessed now. Well, fuck. That's gonna change a lot. Oh, this chat, uh, guys, I'm probably gonna have to play Faith Chapter 3 more than once. Uh, hello? <laughs> okay. Is that the mom? I don't think that's Amy. I think that's the mom. You missed her in the previous room? Did I? I honestly didn't see her. Basement top right. Oh shit, you're right. <laughs> Glad we could experience that together, everyone. <laughs> Oh, that's, that's the church from chapter two. Took me a minute to realize what that is. Amy Martin. She drew that church. Amy drew it while she was possessed. That was really important. Oh, that was. We couldn't have missed that. <gasps> Bob's glasses. You guys remember the, the demon in here? Did you guys see it? It was... Guys, it was definitely in the mirror a second ago. Did you see that? Maybe that's just a reference to Faith Chapter 1. This is so moody. I actually think it's really cool. It's interesting how they got him to, John to sound younger now, too. Uh, that's kind of creepy. Mirror demon. Now I got a mirror demon. Whenever I look at the mirror, I'm like, ah, delightfully devilish, rat more. Hello. Don't remember anything further. You don't remember the kids' room, John? I remember it. Come on, you don't remember it? This is Amy's room. She appeared on the bed of the first one, if you recall. Ratmore? That's right. So he doesn't remember the kids' room. That's strange. That's the rubber duck. Alright, let's go up here. See, that right there that we just saw, that's me in a uh, social situation. Everybody's talking and I'm just like. That's me. Hello, Amy. John. Get him. Get him. Okay, I guess we're, we're back home now. October 30th. One day until the profane Sabbath. Alright, who's going to make that their, uh, the name of their next band? Profane Sabbath. Come on, John, go make your bed, bro. Don't leave it like that. I'm not going in there. The fuck, John? What you hiding? You got a skibbity in there? 
John, I'm getting reports of children exhibiting strange behavior at the daycare center on 4th Street. If Nate and Jason are there, then you can bet that that is the place where they will try to summon Ma Ma Malthus. There's no time left. Go to the daycare and go find out what's really going on. Fear not. Let's go see what the uh, neighbors are watching. What? What? Kill? What? Pirate Man? Amy? Tweaking the fuck out? Kid, what are you watching? You need Christ. Normal Saturday morning show. <laughs> Hold on, I'm I am curious. We gotta see if the, the neighbors are they just watching the same thing? What the fuck? Who's the pink one? Papyrus. You know, like Steve Harvey? Kill! All right. Okay. John, I think you're going a little bit insane, my guy. Yeah, that, that, like we can't hear the audio of the TV, but that's what it's saying when it says kill. It's just, it's just Steve Harvey saying kill to the TV speakers. Hmm. Oh, well, that cop is t zooming ahead of us. Okay. Am I just supposed to walk by this? What is this, Fargo season? <laughs> season two? All right, this is where the lawyer shows up, guys. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what is going on here? Is this the daycare? Oh shit, this is the daycare. Yeah, this is where the lawyer is going to start, like, screaming about, Yo, kid, talk about the Constitution, the rights, and... I don't know, fucking know. He's like, that was one of my favorite scenes from the whole season. A riddle. Priest, how do you make a portal to hell? Come see me, and I'll show you. That's not a... That's not a riddle. If, imagine if, like, out of one of these fucking things, one of those big red demon hits grabbed you. That that would scare me. That would have got me. The tunnels await? We're going to a daycare. What do you mean? Ben. See, that's, that's not too bad, though. Guy in red on the side looks a little interesting. All right. Gary loves us. Come on, Gary. What the fuck are you doing in the daycare, bro? Mother Moon watcheth her little ones behind a door of sleep. Daughter Chalice is filled. An offering to the monster. To the master and the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from afar and cometh back to roost. These vessels are the unholy trinity. The fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. 
the hell is that noise? Time to learn your Supreme alphabets for Father John. Oh yeah. Uh, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, L, K, Arrow, Squiggly. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think I know the alphabet, guys. I'm sorry. I, I, I never passed kindergarten. Well, these are the symbols on the TV, guys. What the hell? Wait, is there some kind of puzzle going on here? Not, not all red. Read the story again. Let's see, it was... Okay. Daughter Chalice has filled an offering to the master in the unseen world. A mother moon watches her little ones behind a door of sleep. It's a vessel of the Trinity. What colors can you see? Look to the children if you are lost. Look to the children? Tells you the order. Well, there's not a specific order. I think they all have to be a certain color coordination. The playground? Oh, you're right. The playground. So, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So they're all pointing kind of different directions. Okay. Um, let me watch as our little ones behind a door of sleep. Our chalice is filled. Offering to the master in the unseen world. Spirit bird arriveth from the afar and cometh back to the roost. Fallen star shall guide them. What colors can you see? How does this coordinate to the colors in that room though? Blue, red, green, yellow. I mean, if we're going from left to right. Blue, red, green, yellow. Blue, red, green, yellow. All right. Well, the red chalice makes sense. So let's do. Blue. Red, green, come on, wait, is there no yellow? There's no yellow. Hmm. So that's not it. Yeah, let's go down. dream look Ailey what is your dream now I'm sorry what is your dream some demonic tree with hands and a face somebody's crying on your bed and you're crying onto your cat and your cat is crying they have color maybe the children have clues maybe, maybe their pictures have clues Uncle Earl fishing 
<laughs> There's a demon under the boat. Hey, pink chalice. Guys, pink chalice. That, wait. Pink chalice. So there was a... Okay, there was a moon, chalice, bird, and star. I don't know about this picture. I don't think this picture has any of those symbolisms. I don't know. Hey guys, I think I see an orange moon. Hold on, I, I gotta write this down. I'm gonna use the chat for this. Orange moon. What was the color of the chalice again? Oh, I am so forgetful. Hey, look at some like superhero guy. <laughs> hey guys, look at it. it's a uh, Terraria boss. I don't know. Is that a guy dead on the floor? The fuck? Orange moon? Was it orange? Oh no, orange moon is what you typed. Uh, that picture was the one episode of Lane where they all look at the sky. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thanks, Satan. Money? Decapitated children. Okay, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> what is wrong with this fucking town? Satan is a rich bitch? Yeah, apparently, man. So yeah, that's the orange moon one. Our family. What a nice family. Who's the one on the top right? Hey, blue bird! Blue bird! Alright, so we got blue bird, orange moon, Twitter, that's right. Pink chalice, so we need the star. What What is the star supposed to be? Maybe it was back here and I just missed it. There's the orange moon again. Yellow? Oh, there's no yellow. I don't, I don't know what the... I'm not sure what the star is supposed to be. I guess we could just try because we don't know it. So... <clears throat> Pink. Orange. Twitter bird is blue. There we go. No, it was like a darker blue. There we go. Oh, we did it! We did it! This is where it lives. Turning back now, yeah. Okay. That's some kind of sacrifice. If you are reading this, then congratulations! You are on your way to experiencing the wonders of the unspeakable future under the guidance of Gary. Gary, our brother! Gary, our friend! Gary, a normal human being just like you and me. As a tier one acolyte, you just beginning your unspeakable journey to eventually see what Gary sees and prove yourself worthy to be a vessel to be a vessel fit to experience the second death, reserved for only the most worthy. To find out if you are a vessel, remember to attend meetings of the Eternal Order of the Second Death twice a week. Follow Gary's instructions exactly. Be honest with him in all that you do. Do not ever ask what is behind the door in the basement of the clinic. The Red Cultist? Don't tell Oman. The leader of the Red Cult, a guy named Gary. That'd be a funny reference. I should do that.
she consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. Huh? I don't understand. What? Mona Lisa. The fuck is this blood hole? Saitama with hair? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the okay face. <laughs> A little bit. Uh, okay. Their eyes are glowing. Do I just go back? Chat? Did I miss something? Am I having a rat blind moment? The hell is that noise? The fuck is that noise? I don't understand. What was that note I just got? She consumed six little twigs. Only two were left to walk as husks. Go ahead, priest. Stare into the eyes of my mother. So, okay, there's six statues. I'm staring into their eyes. I don't know what to tell you guys. I, I, I'm stretching here. What the hell is happening here? I am shocked they were able to make this creepy of ambience with just this sound font of like this fucking Atari 2600S sound font. Guys, I I'm at a loss here. I'm not really sure what they want me to do here. I am staring into your eyes. I don't know if this is really what I'm supposed to be doing here. I don't know. What the fuck is this painting all about? We just stare? Staring down the hole? Okay, I'm staring at the painting now. Why go silent? Oh, okay. It was just coincidence. Oh! Is that his mother? Are we staring at his mother? Okay. What is happening? Whoa, whoa, what? Okay. <laughs> well, that just happened. <laughs> okay. Well, 
All right, then. Lore break. Gaze upon the magnificence of La Piete Carota. This beautiful statue depicts a faithful member of the order receiving the second death and the loving embrace of Et Mater. Et Mater? I don't know. Maybe it's French. Two such statues were commissioned thanks to the generous patronage of the Save family. We invite everyone to reverently approach the statue whenever they are in need of rest. If you're reading this, congratulations! You have officially been granted Tier 2 status in the Eternal Order of the Second Death. Upon crossing the threshold from Tier 1 to Tier 2, your life as an acolyte will change dramatically. You may start noticing shadowy figures in the corners of your room. Oh, yeah! Or experience feelings of lost time when holding up sharp objects. Oh, yeah! Ancient symbols written in blood will materialize on the floor and walls of your home. Oh, yeah! Animals will no longer trust you. Fuck yeah! You may emit a foul order that will cause your former loved ones to avoid you. woo -hoo. Too bad! These are just a few of the marvelous blessings that await you in this stage of life. If you remain loyal to Gary, your journey towards becoming a vessel for the second death will progress to new levels of knowledge and power. Remember, if you neglect your weekly meetings or do not pay your t tithes to the order, your fingers will be forcibly bent backwards. Carrie loves you. Okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Huh? Uh, all right then. Five seats in the northern facing west. Five in the south facing east. All right. So facing west. So that would be these ones. Wait, so w w which side is the, the, the west ones? North is west ones. How do I push these? Can I push these? What are they saying? Stop the cultist? Or dog steereth his pot full of sinners. The seats revolve. Baal giveth favor. The low seats are made high. This is some lore. I can't read the lore in the bottom because it's cultist. All right. Andrus saw it discord. Oh, Andrus saw discord, guys. East and West trade places. Okay. I can't push any of these chairs. Uh, goodbye. I don't know what that's all about. Okay. Alrighty. So we activated those things. I don't know. I, I can't move these chairs. I don't know if I'm supposed to. 
Rat, no. Huh? You didn't notice? Didn't notice what? What? When you activated those things? Wait, act what, what are you talking about? The chairs changed places? Oh yeah, they did change places. What the hell? Hold on. Okay, so we have, hold on a second. Five seats in the north facing west. Okay, so on the north, they are all facing west except for one. And all of these ones are facing east. But there's only four facing west right now. East is right. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. So these need to be flopped. All right, let's see whatever that did. Okay. So now the north ones are facing west it looks like that flipped the board um vertically is what it looks like that did if i'm not mistaken east and west trade places wait if east and west trade places then the top one should be facing right i believe so that's not me playing, because honestly, I suck at this puzzle. I'm all in for puzzle games. This is what, oh my god, what the fuck? What? Oh no, heroin addict? Excuse me? Oh, that's Faith Chapter 2. That's the nun that was, like, possessed. Amy? Now you are ready. John is the smiling man. There's no way in hell I'm going back in there. John blocked off the door and he... Oh no, that's... That's why Amy was left behind in chapter one. He, he was too afraid. Can we go down here now? No. It's interesting this is the only thing they kept in color out of the whole place.
the hell? The fuck? This looks. This screen just looks like something that a psychopath made. <laughs> What is this, Doom? Doom needs to fucking come here and kill Gary. <laughs> Jesus. What is on the wall up here? I don't know what that is. Okay. Deliver two into Molich's hands before opening his navel. All right. To what now? Filthy Acolyte, the substance of Gary's influence flows through your veins. You are corrupted beyond repair. Your family and friends have forsaken you. There is no returning from the path you have chosen. Only Gary can save you now. Give up and fully let him into your heart and mind. If you do so, he will make you into a vessel worthy of the unspeakable. Resist and your soul will be lost forever. Welcome to tier three. Gary loves you. Okay. Is that none again from chapter two? And this place is different than before. Well, I don't even know if this is the same place actually. This is not the same place. Oh, shit! Oh! <laughs> what was that? Excuse me? <laughs> we'll just walk around him. <laughs> he doesn't need to be saved. That cult has got parasite? Oh, okay, we're, we're moving on here. Let's play red light, green light. <laughs> I don't think I played right. Uh... Red light, green light. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> okay, let's just go back to playing red light, green light, huh? Oh my god, what the fuck? No, fuck you, fuck you! Fuck you! You fucking dick! I was, I was channeling my inner uh, Jack Black for a second. Okay, well those guys are no joke. The imagery that those guys provide is similar to RE4. Are you 
No, I got impatient. Damn you. Oh, you can't kill those guys. You can't kill them. I don't think you can get them. I don't think you can get these guys. No, you, I don't think you can get him. Look the way they eat you. Oh yeah, they just, uh, you know, suck you up into the air. <laughs> you just lure them out. Hey, fuck you. What, were you on a red light? No, 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 okay. <laughs> Chat? I'm tired. I think we're gonna leave it off here. This is great, but I'm just tired. I'm, like, zoning out a little bit. Whew. All right. We'll leave it off there. Guys, that was uh, pretty fucking excellent, if I do say so myself. Rip Lisa? Yeah, Rip Lisa. That's a good spot. I agree. It just, it felt like a good spot to end it. Before we, I feel like we're about to get into it deep, so we'll end it before we continue there. That was sad. Yeah. Ugh. All right, guys, I am very sleepy, so um, we'll continue this. Uh, well, it's about to be the end of October, so I don't know. We'll just we'll just continue next Saturday. Why not? Next Saturday, we will finish Faith Chapter Three. We're we're already like halfway through, so we're gonna finish it next time. You're hooked. You like the backstory. I am also hooked. I'm honestly very interested in what's happening. I'm trying to find. All of the secrets if I'm able to. After the profane Sabbath. So good. I'm glad you guys agree. I'm very much enjoying this quite a lot. So, uh, well, I think next week it'll, uh, the, the profane Sabbath will have already been summoned. So we'll be two days late. If we can survive whatever the profane Sabbath is, we'll be able to see the ending of this faith chapter here. So, um. Alright, without further ado, I'm going to head off. Uh, good night, everybody. Thanks for joining.